Hey guys, it's Atticus, and we're back with some more Dark Elf, so... Looks like we're fighting AC Finglish, Finglish, but we do not want to do a mirror match, so hopefully he'll change here in a second. Um, today I figured we would do a little uh, Dreadlord with crossbow action, supported by a Sorceress of Death. We are going to do uh, Purple Sun and Spirit Leech, so yeah, we're going to try a little Purple Sun action. No mirror match. Please. Alright guys, let's check his profile real quick here. See who we're dealing with. Jim Rayner. I like that. StarCraft fan. Alright, so... Uh, we're putting both of these on Pegasus. Dark Pegasus. Supported with the Raven Heralds. Two Harpies. And until I know what else, who we're fighting... Well, I am new. No mirror match, please. There we go, a little scaven. Alright. So, against scaven, we are going to want to go at least four harpies, because he's going to go probably really heavy if artillery. He says he's new, but I've heard that before. We don't want to you know, lower our guard too much here. So we're also going to go Sisters of Singing Doom. These guys are just beast. And we are going to go. We got 1900. Ah, the Chilla Santar is really good on this match. Especially if you are able to shoot down their artillery. So we're going to take the Chilla Santor. And we'll just cut. Mm, 16 the leadership. A terror bomb would be nice too. Um, let's see if we cut that, but I like the purple sun, so we will cut a third harpy. There we go, we're at 500, so we'll take a dark rider. Alright guys, so yeah, this is going to be a fun little matchup here, so no problem. Alright, alright guys. And we're fighting that Winter Pyre. So, the idea of this build, guys, is we have our Dreadlord, which is, you know, good at range. Uh, they're going to be on Pegasus, so there's no Skaven that can, you know, that can hit him, you know, air-wise. We have our uh, Sorceress up there as well, so she'll have mobility to get a really good Purple Sun, um, Spirit Leech on any of their Lords. We have, you know, a little bit of muscle here. Sisters of Singing Dune will just shred through Skaven Slaves, Clan Rats, etc. These guys will take care of any Storm, uh, what are they called, Storm uh, storm Rats or whatever, uh, Storm Fiends, uh, what are those things called? You know what I'm talking about, though. Um... Raven Heralds will, you know, take care of any Skaven Lord as well, and the three Harpies. I'd like to go a fourth Harpy unit, but, um, yeah, we'll try this, guys. We'll try it. We'll see how it goes. I got a good feeling about this game. We have all the tools we need. And this is my, my best matchup, so we'll see if this guy's new or not. Then we'll let him know about the channel if he wants to learn Dark Elves. Alright, so here we go. The Chill of Santar is going to do really good, guys. Especially if we're able to shut down his artillery. Yeah, I like this build. I like it a lot, actually. I think this will work. I do think this will work. All right, so let's get let's get ready here. So if he goes artillery, which I'm expecting, we'll shut that down real quick, and then we'll move our lord in with the uh, ravens and sni sniping his lord. We'll get a good breath attack with our hydra. Dark riders will deal with any death runner or uh, gutter runners. Sisters, you know, you know, well, deal with the rest. Rat ogres could be a problem. Don't have a lot of answers for rat ogres, but I think we'll be okay. So we'll go ahead and set these guys up right here. Right here in the front a little bit. Um, 
we're actually going to put the sisters right like this. Or maybe we should do the Hillebroni. Yeah, we'll do the Hillebroni kind of in the middle there. And sisters will have from the side. Something like that, guys. I think that worked really good. With the Chill of Songtar right there. These guys right here. And we'll do our Harpy Vanguard. So boom. And a boom. And a boom. Alright, guys. And what else we got here? Where's my lord at? Our sorceress. So hopefully we'll get a good uh, purple sun. So these guys will run at these guys. These guys. These guys. Those and that. Alright, so if it goes really heavy on the artillery, we'll be good. So we're going to go ahead and move everybody up. Start getting these guys to deal with the artillery pieces. Which he did bring a lot, which doesn't surprise me. We'll go ahead and move these guys up and the sorcerers. And yeah, guys, let's take a little gander what he has here. Escaping slaves. Alright, so yeah, we need to get these dark riders there ASAP. Some storm vermin. That's who I was referring to. So we're actually going to send our... Uh, Actually, we're going to get a purple sun on those guys. That would be brutal. Actually, we'll cancel that for now. Pull these guys back. Actually, you know what? Let's sacrifice those guys and get that purple sun. So watch this, guys. This is going to be brutal. And now we'll pull the Dark Riders back. Ooh, look at that damage. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so I didn't do as good as I was hoping, but it's alright. What we need is these guys getting on that, and... Yeah. Start focusing with these guys. Looks like we got a little... Oh, wow, we're getting hit there, aren't we? We get the chill Santar to hit something. And we'll send them in now. Alright, so we're just Lord at it. That's who we need to focus here. There he is. Lord Skrulk. So why aren't these guys sh shutting down? That's the question here. That Ward Light Cannon is not dying, which is surprising. Alright, so how's our front line engagement doing here? I think we're looking okay. Another Purple Sun would be excellent. We need one more and we'll drop it right here in the middle. Just destroy these fools. So, yeah, we're going to do that actually. What do we got here? Bunch of rats, so... Do it right there, guys. This is probably going to hit our own guys, too, but pull them out a little bit. And that thing never stays where you need it to, does it? Unfortunately not. Um, let's see here. Hellebroni fixing on that. And where's Lord Skrulk at in this mess? Trying to think that purple sun did more damage to us than it did them, but it's alright. We're in his goody pot now. Eh, we're not going to waste on that. So you guys to deal with those, and yeah guys, this is looking in the bag. Let's see here. Let's see if we got a spirit leech here. There they are. Is that Lord Squirrel? No, that's the engineer. Where's Lord Squirrel at? Uh, we need to deal with this Doomfire Warlock, though, or war what are those things are called? 
do that and who can we hit here that's what we need to kill Mm. Warlock engineer is doing good. We're gonna escort the warlock out. Um. Yeah, guys, I think we got this. So let's go ahead and just finish up that. And we'll go ahead and send these guys back here to deal with these guys. We'll cast this to make sure he stays off. Now we need to go find Lord Skrulk, so... What do we got here, guys? Who do we got here? Escaping um, slaves. You know what? We'll just go ahead and land on these guys. We'll deal with them quickly. That will kill that. Our ha Raven Heralds will deal with... There he is. That's what we need to kill. We kill him and this is done. Alright. And it looks like we have a guest coming in. This is really annoying. All right, and that should be game, guys. We'll just wrap this up here. Destroy. Mm, come on. So yeah, guys, good game. And we'll go say good game to our opponent. So yeah, guys, this is a little quick little build. I just wanted to show you that that setup there. And we'll go ahead and look at the end screen here real quick. So you're looking at... Um, yeah, uh, Sisters of Singing Dune with 223 kills. It's uh, you know pretty much what I expected, so... Yeah, I don't know if I'd say he was new. He knew what he was doing, but the matchup still went the same. So it was a little bit of a cool build for you guys to kind of show you uh, a way of beating Skaven, which is pretty much my easiest matchup. So thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.